Lens extraction was considered as an option for this patient with bilateral microspherophakia who presented with very high myopia, astigmatism and recurrent attacks of high pressures due to pupillary block glaucoma. A 2.8 mm keratome enters from the anterior sclera. Two MVR blade entries were made. Two punches were made with MVR blade and cystitome to facilitate capsular access. The two centripetal forces applied by sharp instruments will nullify the zonular weakness that we have here. The tunnel is enlarged with a blunt keratome to 5.2 millimeters. The aperture in the capsule was held by a 27 gauge cannula. Visco fills the eye and supporting the lens erexis could be completed. The lens is held like the handle holds the bag, so I call it as bag handle technique. Rexis otherwise is very difficult because the annular support and counter traction is not there. The rexis does go to the periphery but it can be easily retrieved and completed. The soft lens, its hydro dissection, hydro delineation and delamination is done segmentally and the entire lens being soft can be aspirated with Simcoe irrigation aspiration cannula. The posterior capsule is maintained in this case along with the zonular apparatus to retain the anterohyloidal phase. There are a couple of options. One is scleral fixation of a lens or anterior chamber IOL implantation. I prefer the implantation of an iris claw lens which is fixated on the back of the iris. The, all the cortical remnants are aspirated gently. It's a low pressure technique. At no point of time the pressure goes above the normal intraocular pressure. The irrigation infusion is controlled by visual feedback from the microscope. Note that a phacomation is not needed for this surgery and irrigation and aspiration is controlled manually. 0.2 ml of 0.5% pilocarpine is infused into the anterior chamber to constrict the pupil to about 4 mm. A iris claw lens is implanted and rotated in the line of MBR entries that were made initially. Lens is held at the haptic optic junction taken behind the iris identifying the slit in the haptic. An enclavation is done by lifting the haptics up using a short 27 gauge cannula, reform the entry chamber, repeat the same thing on the other side. It's a very simple, very elegant, quick technique. The posterior capsule is retained and it could pacify over a period of time and that can be probably uh, treated with the ag laser. Finding the uh, haptic opening is important and it can be found out by lifting the haptics up and also looking at the haptic optic junction. Being a young person, I am putting one stitch and uh, it is tightened just enough to maintain the integrity of the tunnel. It should not be tightened too much to cause an astigmatism. The other eye was operated a week ago and I am going to show you the other eye and the patient has been extremely happy with the visual re rehabilitation. We have been implanting uh, retro iris claw lenses for a long time now, more than a decade, and we don't have the problem of iris dispersion syndrome or glaucoma or prolonged inflammation postoperatively. The surgery was done under topical anesthesia along with intracameral infusion of 1% lignocaine. The eye does not have to be bandaged at the end of surgery. This eye was operated a week ago and the patient has done extremely well. In this eye, I had to put three stitches uh, to maintain the chamber. Thank you.